What is plot view? Plot view is a command that allows you to create views, sections, and enlarge details of the model slash assemblies and place them into a drawing. The dialog box is divided into tabs for specific actions, for example, view creation, sections, selection, and more. So I have a file example here, which I'm going to go into plot view. The first tab we're going to go into is the general tab. This is where you'd manage pages. So I can add or remove pages, which I just did here. I can change the scaling, change the page name, and change the paper size. Each of the letters represent a different paper size. So what I'm doing now is I'm loading a mask. I can also update a mask from the same tab. So in here I added my mask. I'm going to go into the view tab where I can insert individual views. I'll choose a top view and I'm going to change the size of it so that way it fits into my mask. So once I've placed it into the mask, I'm going to update it with the relevant information. As you can see here, I have hidden lines and different styles turned on so you can see the hidden lines. So once I've done that, I'm going to update my mask. I'll choose the mask first and then I'm going to choose my view and you'll see it updates with the relevant information. It's pulling this data from the layer management and the assembly manager information. Now we're going to go into multi-view. This is used for creating up to four views at one time. So you can adjust your view sizes, your view orientations, and you have the same settings you do with the regular view tab, except they've added a, another option where you can insert it in a shaded view. Now we'll use the automatic tab. The automatic tab is like using the regular multi-view, except you can insert your own masks and it'll have it automatically updated based off of layer information and parts list depending on how you have it selected. So once I do that, I'm going to update it, and it will synchronize all the pages or all the relevant layers that are currently turned on. So here you can see that it automatically updated my layers. You can see in these details that it has the auto dimensions for the X, Y, and Z, and as you can see it updated everything it could based off the layer information. So now we're going to insert in a couple more pages. I'm going to create another top view, and I'm going to insert that into my piece. So the next area we're going to go over is called the section view. The section view is used for cutting a section into our part so that way we can see the inside of our part. So for right now I'm going to select the part, select the section, I can choose a direction for where that section is going, and I can cut that piece in that certain direction. I have a few different options I can change in here. So I could choose from a fixed section, a variable section, or a profile section. I'll go to the next page now, and we're going to go over the selection view. As you can see, everything is turned on, but in the selection view, I can turn on and off certain layers, parts lists, or groups to only enable certain items. This can help me create some unique views based off of our specific layers, much like how the layer management works in 3D, as well as the attributes and visibility. So as you can see, I'm working with both layers and parts lists to do this. Next, we're going to go over to the Save tab. The Save tab allows you to save your individual plot view pages. It gives you a few choices of how you're going to save these. So in here, you can select multiple different pages, you can select relevant pages, or you can do it by current page. So under Save Mode, these are where these settings are. You have a few different options for being able to save these. You can save them out into folders. You can save them out as different file types, for example, Visi, DWG, DXF, IGES. So I'm going to save these out into a specific folder here and I will open those up in Visi so you can see them shown. So as I launch these in Visi, it will open them up automatically into the plot view atmosphere so that way you see your 2D detail where it should be. For the last tab I'm going to show you, this is called the print tab. It works much like the Save tab where it's formatted with the current pages, selected pages, and all relevant pages. As you can see, I'm highlighting the paper sizes right now. And this is all based off of whatever paper size for whatever printer. The printers it's looking for is based off of the Windows printers. So as you can see right now, I'm going to select Current Printer. I'm going to look at the paper size I am referencing. In this case, I'm going to choose Adobe PDF so you can see a preview of what this is going to look like instead of printing to a normal printer. So when I hit print, it actually goes to a save module and it gives me the ability to print it. So when I'm printing it, it's actually going to open up in Adobe Acrobat and you can see the preview.